Hello everyone, in this video we want to talk about the hypothesis test in the Microsoft Excel by using the data analysis in the Excel. The data analysis toolbar is in the data tab and you can see it in the analysis box. So if you cannot see these tools, you should go to the file, options, in the add-ins, press on the go button and then check box these two and then press ok button so you can see that. So the hypothesis or in the sum application we know that as a A-B test is testing that if the average of two samples are equal to each other. So for example here I have a hypothesis zero that it means the mean one, the average of the sample one is equal to the average of the sample two. Or we can assume the difference of the average are equal to the zero. And on the other hand, we have the hypothesis one that indicate that these two averages are not equal or one of them is larger than the other one or the one of them is less than other one. So if we reject the hypothesis zero, we should accept the H1. But if we cannot reject the H1, then we say that these two averages are equal. So what, we, what it means that these two averages are equal or not? So for example, if I get the average of the sample of one, it is 391. And if I calculate the average for the second sample, is 376. I can see the average of the sample A is more than average of the sample B. But is it true for the average of the populations? I mean that for example for the population A is it really larger than the average of the population B? We just have some samples from these two populations. I don't have the data for all the items in the population. I cannot get the, all the items in the population. I need to run this test to see if the average is equal for the population or not because the population is important for us, not the samples. So what I can do, there is some cases here. We have four different cases. If I know the population A and the population B, both of them have the normal distribution and if I know the variance, I can use the normal hypothesis. But if I do not know the population distribution, I need to get more than 30 items in each sample and if I do not know the variance of each of these population but I know they are equal I can use the second method but if I do not know the population distribution and I don't know if the variance is equal for these two I need to use the third method and also if I have the samples from one population in the different times, so for example, I have system A and I have these samples of the time using of system A and then I do some improvement for the system A. And after the improvement, I calculate the times of this system. I want to see if the the time usage is going down or not or it's equal so the population is the same system the population is not changed but I get the samples in the different times I need to use the fourth method which is called the parity test so how I can have these tests in the Excel I can use formulas as well in the, in the statistical formulas but the simplest way is using the data analysis tab. In the data analysis tabs, I have these four methods. Let's first see the two methods that are most used, the two, uh, the t-test or the samples that are not have the equal variance because in the most cases, I do not know the distribution of the population and I don't know the variance as well. So I use the t-test 
two sample assuming unequal variance. If I press on the OK button, ask me to select the range for the sample one, so I can come here and use the Control Shift Down button for the sample one and using the control shift down button for the second sample and here i can assume the difference of the mean is zero because i want to see if they are equal or not so i enter the zero number here and the alpha is the critical percentage that show me if i if i assuming these two samples are equal i have five percent error the mistake of the choosing h0 is five percent and then i can tell the uh, report being the for example t test tab so i press on the ok button and i can see my report here in this report I can see the average of the sample 1 and sample 2, the variance of them and the number of the items in each samples and I can see the difference I choose the 0 and the degree of freedom of this my sample. The important thing is the T stat which is the statistical T that calculated. I need to compare these, this one with these two the T critical for one tail and the T critical for two tail. So I can see T state is less than the T critical for one tail as well as the T critical for two tails. So by this means I can say H0 is accepted. And here I can say H0 is accepted as well because this number is less than these two. So what is the one tail and the two tail? The one tail say that if they are not equal. So in the two way or the two tail, I just testing if these two are not equal. But in the one way, I can say that, for example, mean one is more than mean two or mean one is less than mean two. So in my case, because the mean one for the A system is more than the B system, I can say if I use one way, I can say mean one is more than mean two. So here I can say for one tail, the H0 is accepted, so these two are equal. But if the T state be, for example, 1.8, then I cannot reject the H0 for the one tail. I just can reject it for a two tail. So in the one tail, I have to say H0 is rejected. And this means that the mean one is more than mean two. But for the two tail, it, uh, the H0 is accepted. And I want, I have to say these two are equal. So it is important if you are using two way or one way. So remember that. And for the parent T test, which is another important test for most cases, is means that I have my system as my population and I get this samples from the old system. And after the time, I get another sample from the new system. So I use parent to samples for me. And then by pressing OK button, I have to choose the old one as the sample one and the new sample as the sample 2. So the hypothesis mean difference is 0 as well. And the alpha is 5%. And I s uh, named my new report as the PT test, for example. And then I press OK button. And here I can see an, uh, a, a table that calculate the means, the variance, and the samples number, the prior song correlation, uh, the graph freedom, and the T stat here as well. So I need to compare T stat with the T critical one tail and the T critical two tail. So here, because T stat is less than the T critical one tail, I can say H0 is accepted. And here as well, because this T stat is less than the T critical T tail, 
I can say the H0 is accepted here as well. So there is no difference between the average of the sample A and the average of the sample B. The speed of that we have the difference in their av sample average. So in the population, we say that these two have the equal means. So if I do some improvement for my system, those improvements are not resulted in the time improvement. Or for example, if I have system A and I want to buy the system B for having the less time, the less usage time, I can use these parity tests and say that the system A and system B time usage are not different and I do not need to buy system B for example here in this case. So this is the A-B test or hypothesis test for mean of two samples in the Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching. Until next, goodbye. In order to watch more training videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel DiacoTD. And if you want to see our products, please visit our website diaco.co.uk.